the rookie program. Wow! I improved a lot. Disappointed in everything, honestly. Can I double gun? Oh no, Pomona, Pomona, a rookie class kita, race one. Rookies, class of 2023, welcome to Toyota Gazoo Racing Festival. Nervous, of course, uh, but a lot of excitement as well because it's uh, my first race with Toyota. Truly excited, but at the same time nervous. Maybe. Yeah, this is my first time qualifying in Sepang. I'm feeling nervous and kind of excited for it. Looking forward to Korea. I'm feeling optimistic about qualifying. And it's very important because this determines our starting position for race one. I'm feeling nervous to be honest because it's my first race of the year. So everything can happen. So I just trying to do my best at this point. Yep. Azul and I met in primary school, so when we were seven, we went to the same primary school and now we're in the same, same secondary school in our last year of, of school. So yeah, it's been a journey and uh, yeah, it's been fun. Super boastful about his uh, body, you know, he, he just loves himself too so much. So, <laughs> so we would go to the toilet and everything and then he will just start flexing his body. We got close probably because of our sense of humour. Very similar. It's like stuff we laugh at isn't even funny. It's stupid. Uh, I think I had the passion for racing a, a bit earlier than Azrael. Um, I was going to the F1 Grand Prix here in Sepang with uh, my dad back in 2015, 16, and 17. So, yeah, of course, from then, playing the F1 games on my PS4 and you know, just stuff like that. And then in 2018, I did started to start professional karting. And uh, yeah, just continued from there. And Azrael, I think in late 2021, he, he joined the same team under the same program that we had in karting. And uh, now both of us here together. It's, uh, it's been a good journey. I, I'm not here to dictate to you, yeah? You got half an hour to use. Do not stay out for half an hour because she'll really destroy the tires. Definitely come in after four or five laps. You can check the pressures and have a conversation. The rookies did really well. I was quite pleased with that. Um, yesterday, I was not happy with the performance, but today everyone drove a lot tighter. Um, they're all within a second of each other, which is how it should be, you know, because I've had six days to prepare. So they all should be quite close to each other. And that was what happened in qualifying. Great job by Arif, um, pole position for him. It looked quite easy. He kept it, didn't have any laps disqualified or taken away for track limits. He wants obviously good to have, but you know, it's just qualifying and we've got to get our head down and our focus on the race. Positive after what we've got yesterday and yeah, looking forward for race one. If you see one of us on the wall doing this to you, that means you've had a lap time to lead to lead all right, so you need to think about track limits. What went wrong for my qualifying was, I, I touched the white line quite a number of times, so my lap times were invalidated. Both Iman and Elson got really close. Uh, would have been within a 10 for two of our of our if, but they had their best laps taken away. Back, I would have loved to be P1, but oh well, that's how it is. Nazmir, big improvement to get third. Um, Elson was fourth. Uh, Yazid was fifth. It was not what I expected, but yeah, it's, it's, it's still a good position. The most important thing is uh, the risk that uh, will be upcoming. Now, Azra was last. This was slowest of the rookies, shall we say, with sick. Um, Azra did not have a good session because he had so many laps taken away. His best lap actually was only 
six tenths off pole, but he had like taken away, um, so he qualified at the back. Well, I was overdriving the car, so due to that, I was missing the apex, missing my throttling and all that. So yeah, that's definitely one of the biggest causes of qualifying this one. Usually whenever Azil or I struggle during the races, we we tend to remind each other of what we're capable of and what, what we know we can achieve. Something doesn't go well in the car, it comes out, he's really angry, I'm just like, calm down. <laughs> I don't know? do that. We've both done pretty well in the past in other races in carts and stuff. So we tend to remind each other about you know, what we're capable of and just to stay cool and not, not overthink uh, little inconveniences and stuff on track. Good morning, champions. Welcome to Toyota Gazoo Racing Season 6. We are back again for another wonderful season again. Who do you think will emerge as, as P1 today? P1 today be interesting. It's going to be a close battle between Arif and Elson, I think, and uh, Iman as well. It's definitely going to be a, a challenge. I'm going to get P1 and I'll see you guys at the end. P1, I'm coming. Wish me luck. Go! 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 20 laps to go as we see a beautiful start from all of our races here. Super Sporting and Rookie Class is now going up head to head with one another. Of the race here is coming across the line now. The checker flag is out. He is celebrating. Iman won the race, of course, but there's still a lot to improve on. Who left out the win for race one? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Uh, Elson was second, um, and Nazmir was third. But I guess the guy that did the best job was actually Arif. Arif had a great start, pulled away at the start. For it to all end with one ABS failure is quite, quite devastating and uh, definitely not what I was hoping for. But. Uh, you know, we live and we learn and we celebrate through tomorrow, so we're gonna keep our head down and look forward to that. This evening, you'll be introduced to the class of 2023, another six new graduates will be racing this weekend. They're young and they're ready to put some rubber on track. We are going to get the four class of 2023. Excellent. Two thumbs up for Mbadosan, Nishanto Rami. This is Sepang International Circuit, Musim Yang Ke-6, and this is Round 1, Race Day 2. We will start race number 2 of the Super Sporting and Rookie Class. It's go time now! Overall, much better Race 2 here in Round 1 than Race 1 from yesterday. Uh, the lap times are a lot better, a lot more consistent as well. Get to speak to them, so I need to understand what, dra what drama there was, because quite a few of them had contact. So Arif had a great race, um, great, great race two, won it quite comfortably, so I was quite pleased for him after the disappointment of race one. Of course, I'm happy with that. Managed to get the job done on Azril on lap one, so then on just led the race, kept my head down, and I think pace was pretty good, and uh, yeah, it just went all, pl all to plan today. Then second, of course, was uh, Nazmir. Great to see him actually do that. He had good pace, really good pace. I think he did 26.8 or 26.7 in the race. That's a lot better than yet. I feel I could have battled if Arif had the brakes not been had an ABS problem, but you know what? I'm kept it under control. Iman was third. Um, I need to talk to Yazid though, because Yazid actually drove really well. Yazid was holding third the whole race, but then I think on the last lap or the second last lap, there was contact between the two, which allowed Iman to get third. Have a great fight with Yazid. Uh, hope we took him the last lap, second turn. Uh, have a big contact with him, but I don't know whose fault is that. So yeah, uh, waiting for the professional result. 
Took out. Thank you. Well, calm down. You need to calm I'm okay, don't worry. I was crying because I already in P3 and I, I, hold, I hold that position almost 16 or 17 laps. And then uh, I didn't manage to f finish in that position and I, I get overtake. Uh, I got overtaken on the last lap, so yeah, that's why I feel a little bit gutted. Now, but it's okay, I, well, a lot of improvement today, better than yesterday. But it's okay. Um, fifth place was Elson. Elson, uh, he was nowhere actually, um, but he had contact with Austria early on. Um, so he, I, th I think the car must have been damaged because his pace wasn't very good in the race. Uh, we are going three wide, I think, to the one. And I don't know who. Who crashed into me and was out? But that didn't stop me. I know that I have to finish the race, check, take the checker flag. So I did it. I have to perform myself first. Focus on the driving. Work on the lap time. He kept that. He kept that. He kept that. That was real. You know, he kind of coming together with Elson at turn two. We don't know whose fault it is because we haven't seen the videos yet, but we'll go through the videos in a second. Um, and then when he came to serve his drive through because the bumper came off, uh, we had to take the bumper off. He uh, touched the uh, exit, the white line at the exit, which of course uh, resulted in a disqualification. Oh, definitely have to drive through. But maybe we slow him down and tell him that otherwise he go and do it again, the stewards will um, disqualify him. I know what you're going to be Let's go 51. Yeah. Disappointed in everything, honestly. Uh, after the race, I got called to the steward's room. So there was a drive through penalty where I went out the pits and went over the line a little bit. So they called me out for that. But luckily, they didn't give me any penalty. So yeah, that's that and that's it, yeah. To maintain our friendship, just keep it clean on track, respectful, and I think if you can manage that, everything off track will be nice and easy. Yeah, it really exceeded my expectations on how a night race is supposed to be and how it could be. Yeah! I don't have a lot uh, amount of money to get to racing. I don't afraid with my life when I putting my helmets on, my suit on, my glove on. Oh no! Oh no! He just went straight into oh, the barrier. Oh, and the oh car my flipped. goodness! You know, uh, the first thing that I that I thought when I at the hospital, I was like, oh, I I I have a podium from the yesterday race, and I think I I need that trophy. I need to bring back that trophy. That's why I came here and I want to claim back my trophy today.